Hey y'all, it's Poe, and today I'm going to be coming at you to show you my Julep Maven box for the month of January. Here it is. There you go. I just want to start off by saying um, Happy New Year's. It's officially 2014. Um, so I'm excited to see what's in store for my second Julep Maven box. I can say that I was expecting another black box this month, um, but of course, you can see that it is pink. Um, since I am pretty new to this subscription box, I'm not sure if it's usually black or if it's usually pink or if it's a different color every month, but I was expecting black. So I guess we'll see next month um, what kind of box is going to be coming in, but this is it to the side. This is the shipping label, and this is the back. This is recycled material, by the way, so that's a good thing. Okay, so here it is, opening it up. I did receive it yesterday, so it didn't exactly look just like this when I first received it and when I opened it for the first time. But here it is, right here. And like immediately when you open it, it has this really good smell to it. And it, it's actually going to be from one of the products I just recently discovered um, while reading up. It's from one of the products why it smells so good. Um, this month, I did not go with my standard Boho Glam profile box or whatever. I did decide to choose the Bombshell box. Um, so in case you don't know exactly how Julie Maven works, I believe it's like five style profiles that they have in order to determine which style pro profile you match you have to take like some type of quiz or just answer these questions related to beauty and fashion and nails and hair and makeup and all of that based off of those answers they match you to a style profile box mine was above her glam um like i said but you do not have to stick with the one that they match you with every month you can actually go in and choose which box you want um, I believe majority of them do come with two polishes and one beauty product. There is one box that does come with just two full-size beauty products. Um, but the Boho Glam box that I um, initially matched with, it does come with two polishes and the one beauty product. The Bombshell box that I decided to go with this month does have the two polishes and the one beauty product also. Um, the only difference that I've seen with um, the Boho Glam and the Bombshell box for this January month, it's just a different polish. So I, I think that's what it's usually based around, the polish colors, I guess, to match your personality or something. But um, what I'm going to start off with is going to be my beauty product because, as I did mention, it did have my box smelling wonderful when I opened it up. Um, well, first, let me show you this. Um, this is, it's just a pamphlet that they, you know, show, I guess, what they're featuring for the month of January, their collection. That's just some of the polishes and um, two of the products. I'm, I'm assuming they just sent out two products, um, switching up between all of the boxes. You know, you're going to receive one or the other. Um, and this is it. In my video for last month, um, I did mention how you are able to preview what's in store for the upcoming month. And I'm I'm guessing it was just cuticles that was being featured um, because I did see something about cuticle oil before I chose my box. Um, but I actually didn't receive cuticle oil. I received these. It's called Tada Quick Dry Drops. There it is, right there. And um, I was reading up last night on Julia Maven. Um, cause all I did yesterday is I just opened the box, swatched the polishes or whatever. I didn't even open this or anything. But me and my mom, we were trying to decide why is the box smelling so good. Like, what is it? And it was this. It's the cuticle. I mean, it's the quick dry drops. And so I was reading up um last night. And I was trying to figure out, you know, well, what was the deal with the cuticle, whatever, for January. And as to my um, finding out, this, um, it actually does um, nourish your cuticles as they're drying. So basically what this is, is just a few 
just drops, you just put a few on, one to two is the direction say, on your final coat, a minute after your final coat, and it's going to help your nails dry faster. So that's really good. I've never seen drops, you know, they'll have the sprays and everything at the nail shop, but these are the drops. So I'm pretty excited to try this. This is what it looks like. Pretty good size, and y'all, it smells so good. It said that it's a lavender fragrance or whatever, but that's it. It has a little squeezy thing right there that you drop. I'm excited to try these drops. This is just something else. It just says 2000 will be my year. Something positive that they wanted to share with us. Um, and of course, here are the two polishes for my box for this month. The first one is going to be this lavender color. Um, what I have decided to do until I get this whole video quality lighting issue resolved. I know you can't even see the color of the polish, but I'm just going to put pictures up um, with the colors, you know, and I probably suck at describing the colors to you since you can't actually see them. Well, you know, I'm still going to show them to you. So here's this one. <clears throat> it's like a, a, a lilac color, like a light, light purple. It's a really soft finish. At the top, it says that it's a satin finish. I did swatch it on my nails. Oh, you can kind of see it, but better than, you know, before. Um, the name of this color is called May. M-A-E. Okay, now I, I should have known that was wrong. But that's the first one. The second one is going to be... It's like a really shimmer polish. It's gold. But it's not like a yellow gold. It's more of a silver gold in my opinion. This is it right here. It's pretty. Margot is the color. There it is. Um, and I did swatch it. That's it right there. It's really pretty. Um... But yeah, this these polishes, of course, is what really drew me into the bombshell box this month. Like I love these two polishes. But that's that. The last thing in the box is going to be these um I believe they're buffers or whatever, you know, we use that. It's two of them. Julep. And they have julep on them. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is what this is. You just have to excuse me because I do not do my own manicures, pedicures, or anything at home. Like, I, I, I just don't do that. I go to the nail shop to do it. Um, as you can see, I still have not gotten around to going to get a set of nails. So I my intentions were when subscribing to the Julep. Um, but I did go get a pedicure. Um, I didn't use any of the poshes from last month or anything. Um, I just basically just got um, French tips, basically. The quickest thing. I am going to take some time out <laughs> to actually go and put all these poshes to use. Um, I said that last month as well, but Julep is kind of starting to <laughs> seem like a waste of money for me at this point because I'm not even using the polishes. I haven't even used the beauty serum that I received. Um, so, yeah. But this is Julep for the month. I have no complaints. I just have... Also, let me add, um, their customer service is wonderful, guys. Uh, they keep you, like, in the loop of everything that's going on with your box before even selecting it to when it's shipped out, when it's delivered. Um, they'll send you an email once you select your box, once it's um, sent out, you know, with your tracking number and everything. The tracking um, information is the link in the email. It takes you directly through Julep's website with all of your tracking information listed. It's like it's a direct link. You don't have to sign in or anything. It's wonderful. It's not through the post office actually. It's actually through Julep's website. 
Um, and then yesterday I did actually receive two text messages directly to my phone also letting me know the box was out for delivery, like it's on on its way. And then I actually received another text message saying, well, the box has been delivered. So I just, I really like how they're up to, um, they're really up on their customer service because as of right now, I am having an issue with a company with customer service and they really just suck. Like, seriously. I'm not going to get into that too much right now. Um, but I'm pretty sure I will be doing a video over it if I ever receive my package. Um, but all I have to say about Jula Maven is positive things. So um, I guess I'll just be talking to you guys later. Bye.